I knew at some point, relatively quickly, they were going to bring some nasty shit back with them. I dislike this room enough. Especially when you have one heart. To go ahead and use my Belial charge there. <coughs> Both Grayson and Rory um, went, went to... Uh, like a pediatric ER to get uh, <clears throat> test run because ultimately they can't get back into school without a negative COVID test. So neither one of them had COVID and neither one of them had strep. Uh, Amber said the doctor named whatever it was and it was basically, I, I think it was probably just basically like your, your average run of the mill fall head cold. It's not that we see with new teachers, they get sick a lot in the first two years, but eventually your immune system gets super powered. I mean, like, my boys would get us sick once in a while back in the day. I, I, I there, uh, genuinely, I feel like uh, Grayson and Rory just got sick all the fucking time when they, when the... I was hoping to save that for the boss fight, but rooms like this are what got me killed the last time I ran as Judas. So I guess I, I'm just, uh, that's good. I guess I'm just stuck hoping. Man. <clears throat> How much money was up here? How do you feel? So I was saying too forgetful that, uh, I was saying too forgetful that the last three days, it's all been different stuff. So like the first day it was sinus pressure. Shit, that's not enough money. The, uh... I think our secret room is here. The first day was sinus pressure. And a sore throat. And then yesterday was just fatigue. Because I hadn't had a good night's sleep in three days. I, just, I couldn't see straight. Huh. Um. Huh. Let me go see about this fight first. Uh, t today the 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 stuff that was bothering me when I woke up was a sore throat and uh, a screeching headache. Just glad the boys don't have blue waffle. What's wrong with you? I've always wondered what kind of adventure superheroes would have if they actually came down with, like, common illnesses we all get. So, yeah, too forgetful. Like, I still don't feel great today. <clears throat> I'm content to not fight Baby Plum. I, I don't think I'll take the Plum Flute. But I also think it'll take less... Ah. Oh, you little son of a bitch, don't you kill me. I'm showing you mercy. I... Ah. Mother fuck, Judas. <sighs> What's your run time today? I have to get six and a half hours today and six and a half hours tomorrow. Like, period. Full stop. At this point, I don't care if you guys watch me sleep. Like, I, I, I can't I can't miss my metrics. So, at, it should be a pretty normal day today. Normal day tomorrow. I may not sound great. And there may be points in time where I just gotta get up and, like, walk around or go get something to drink, but... Uh, but, it, yeah, man, it, it, like... I'm out of options. <laughs> Your boy's got to work. I budgeted my I budgeted my sick days this month. I budgeted my sick sick days this month as vacation days, and now that I'm actually sick, but I don't have any free time left, I got to work. I, 
I'm, I'm fucking over it, Judas. Why are you so useless? Nah. I think it's I think as noble as the peach how easy you guys want to let me off, but it doesn't change the fact that I've crafted a machine. I've crafted a sausage making machine that revolves around me making content. And if I am out of commission for too long, the whole machine breaks down. I you know Dice. Once again am paying uh editors to push YouTube videos up. They're getting paid essentially no matter what. And if they have no content to edit, then uh, I'm just out that money. This is the story of the newest denizen of the king. I haven't posted to TikTok and social media with, with clips uh, in like 10 days, which is unacceptable, so I gotta fix that too. I, I, think, it's, I think it's very nice that you guys are willing to let me just uh, get off the hook, but uh, you know, your boy's got to feed the beast. <clears throat> Kiba, thanks to Kombucha for my gifted sub. Taffy, who knew a game about crying abused children could bring a community community together like this? Agreed. I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? I was sweating when I was getting my hair cut yesterday. It, it's I've got my I've got my temperature in here set to like 67 degrees. Yeah, 67. <clears throat> Shot speed up. That's a really good trinket, at the very least. That should help us out a little. You're sick. That's probably it. Uh, you're, it's, you're probably a fine... It's probably... It's probably a fine point you're making, Joe to Nikki. If I'm being honest, that resonates. It is probably because I'm ill. Tower. From the past couple of days, you can do a taffy spun, not top 10? No. I don't have the audience for it yet. I've got a I've got a grand grand total. I've got a grand total of like 180 YouTube uh like 180 uh YouTube subs on that new channel and like 80 on the Let's Play. So I'm not breaking from formula until I've pulled together a, a tidy little following over there. I'm, despite having 30 plus thousand followers on Twitch, I can't seem to get a bunch of people to follow me over on uh, YouTube just yet, so I'm doing my best to put together the best Isaac content I can to try to pull in, uh, to try to pull in, um, Isaac fans from YouTube and maybe hitch a ride on that algorithm. Travel safe, Phil. Oh my god, yeah, I can feel sweat just pouring off me right now. I hate this. I, 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 I can feel sweat in my crack. I hate this so much. Please, please don't. I was thinking to myself, is this a room worthy of me using the Book of Belial charge? And then I remembered that every room on this floor can kill me. <clears throat> Feeling a little less like death? I feel like a different kind of death. I feel like the kind of death where my voice isn't as affected. Um, so today it's chills, apparently. Today it's chills, uh, a, a screeching headache. Get the fuck out of here. So today it's chills, a screeching headache, and a really sore throat. That hurt. 
feel like I should have known better than to just let that guy hit me in the face like that. I genuinely don't know if I can survive this, but I'm gonna try. I feel like it as. I feel like as Judas, if you don't get tier upgrades really, really fast, the game gets infinitely harder. How did you squeeze through there, my guy? Tears upgrade. <clears throat> See, I was saying as people were filtering in earlier that, um, I was saying as people filtered in earlier. Technically, that makes me Judas still. You know what I'm saying? That's still Judas, right? It's just Dark Judas. <clears throat> I gotta set Suicide King back down, but... I like I have Belial better than probably whatever Suicide King was gonna give me. I think it counts as Judas. I guess we'll find out. I haven't put a Dark Judas run up on the channel yet. So anyway, long story short, uh, I gotta be here today, and I gotta be here tomorrow. And I'm gonna give you my absolute best effort. Uh, I promise, I will, I will do my best. But I gotta, I gotta adhere to the plan. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I'm a creature of habit, <clears throat> and I've built a little system. That, uh, that this regimen kind of hinges on and it it, it, it it buckles a little bit when I get sick for several days, you know? Counts as Judas. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Joanna, what's going on? Welcome. Just sitting here explaining to chat that I gotta keep cranking out impressive Isaac runs. And they're like, you can just show people your bad Isaac runs. And I'm like, there's no one there yet. I'm trying... I'm trying to I'm trying to rope YouTube viewers into watching us play video games. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it by playing Isaac the way they play Isaac. <laughs> Being sick was not on my planner this month. Yeah, Dark Judas doesn't get red hearts anymore. We also have a dearth of runs in general. I just like making sure, like, that there are stretches that are coming, especially with the tainted runs. Where, I, like, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to play. I, I kind of refuse. I kind of refuse to play, um, like tainted cane on stream. The tainted cane runs, they're three hours long, and I don't think they're all that interesting. So the tainted cane runs, I guess I'll just do off stream or something. Um, but there are definitely going to be days where, you know, when we're trying, like, Tainted Lost, where it's going to be four hours of just death and sadness. Tainted Jacob is going to be unforgiving. <clears throat> yeah, I did a single Tainted Cane run and got every completion mark. Took three hours. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping to do. May, may, like maybe if I could if I could if I could sort it in such a way that that I get all of Tainted Cane done Maybe if I can sort it in such a way that I get all of Tainted Cane done in a single pass Then I would consider putting it up on this channel and, and maybe even posting it to YouTube But I just I think that Tainted Cane runs are so fucking boring man You just craft yeah, you just craft multiple R keys. That's it. Stevie says, good morning, Denizen, sitting here with my new keyboard and mouse, new as in, brought, bought a few months ago, and I only just set them up. How the heck are we all this morning? I am... 
generally surviving. Generally surviving. I wanted to see if there was a golden options. Hey, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna look that gift horse in the mouth. It's gonna see if there was a golden options. There's no sense in not finding the secret rooms. It costs me nothing. There's a 50-50 chance because Mega Satan might just send you to the credits. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. If you need, if you need to, I, I guess it would make sense that that run would hinge on Mega Satan dumping you through to Delirium. Is it here? Generally surviving the McLaffy Taffy story of content creation. I, it's, it's, when it's going well, Stevie, when it's going well, um, being a content creator is one, being a content creator who makes enough money to live is one of the most fun things on the planet. When it's not going well, it is, uh, it, it, it is, it is, it, it is stressful unlike any other job I've ever, ever had. Because like it, when, when I was like when I was a waiter when I waited tables, I would go in sick because ultimately they didn't give a shit, right? Like the the sad truth of the matter is that I can't count the number of times where I absolutely had to have been contagious with some terrible shit, and the the uh, the general take from the restaurant owner or the GM was, well, I'm not going to be shorthanded, so just don't cough in front of guests. I think I'm just gonna blow these up. <clears throat> so I've absolutely been sick at work before. Matter of fact, most of the times that I've gotten sick, especially for the 10 years I was waiting tables, I just went to work and I tried not to cough in front of you while I was serving your food and touching your plates. Um, but all that being said, there's something to be said for like, on those occasions where on those occasions where like think you know you're waiting tables and you're thinking to yourself like man I guess I gotta go to work I hope things go okay it's so loud well you like on those occasions where you're thinking to yourself man I gotta go to work I hope everything's okay I hope today works out you're also waiting tables so if they fire you it's kind of not the end of the world dice Yo, let's go. When when you admittedly have crafted your own sort of like dream job, um, and you don't really want to do much of anything else in the world, it gets a lot scarier when the the system buckles a little bit. Yeah, in restaurant management, you're throwing up, huh? Well, you still need to handle people's food. Basically. Long story short, for sure. Long story short, for sure, man. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is very much the truth of the matter. Right, you can just shut down. That's exactly it, Lurtz. It's like, you can just shut down when you're waiting tables or bartending. If you've been convinced that you just need to show up to work and be there no matter what and, and, and you know, they're gonna fire you if you don't and all that jazz Like you can make that work. It's fine. You can just put your head down. Hey everybody. What's going on? My name's Ryan I'll be taking care of you today. Can I get you started with something to drink some complimentary bread? Yeah, sure. I'll have a Diet Coke and she'll have a Diet Coke as well uh, with lime. Okay, sounds great And then you don't speak for 20 minutes and you go and you make your drinks you set it down Hey, I'll give you a couple of minutes to look things over, but if you have any questions don't hesitate to let me know and then you go sit at the bread bread cutting station and you just kind of stare into uh, this the, is the, story the middle distance. Of the newest denizen of the cave. You just do that thousand yard stare. Any questions or do you, do you think we're ready to order? Uh, maybe get an alcoholic beverage or uh, start off with some appetizers? <clears throat> and then you go and stand off to the side and just stare a million miles away. And you rinse, wash, repeat that. Not even, 
I, I, I would almost never wait tables for as long as I stream. Unless I was pulling a double. If I was pulling a double, if I was pulling a double, then yeah, it was a, those were those were long days. But generally speaking, um, there we go. Yeah, generally speaking, um, I, you, if you wait tables for a lunch shift, that's like a four-hour shift. Maybe fi maybe five hours if you're closing it up. But yeah, like wait, like waiting tables, uh, my shifts weren't as long as I stream. <clears throat> At my job, which gives you sick hours, we'd get written up if we use, uh, said sick hours. It's illegal to do, but there's their loophole calling it a conduct write-up. Ugh. Ugh. Awaken Sound, tier 1, 11 months. Hope you feel, uh, you feel better soon. Likewise, Awaken Sound. I feel like, uh, back, back when I was younger, we used to get skunky weed from Oregon. It's just kind of like, we, we get skunky weed from wherever people would sell us weed. Not, not me, but like, my friends would get weed and then they, they'd offer it to me. And I remember the really shitty weed. You'd smoke it and I'd instantly dislike how I felt. Like I would, I would instantly long to have uh, control of my physical properties back. I, I just, I wanted to feel normal the moment that it hit me. Where just like within seconds, I was just like, nope, I feel gross. I can't wait for this to go away. I want to be myself again. That's how I feel being sick right now. Is I just want to feel like myself again. What about the times you get weed and smoke and it does nothing? I can't say that that's ever happened to me, King. If I'm being honest. I mean, it doesn't help that, like, I went from growing up next to Oregon where, I mean, good, bad, or in between, their weed was always potent. And then I moved out here to Virginia, and the only other times that I really smoked weed was around a guy who was, like, a 355-pound pothead who woke up and did gravity bong rips in the morning. So there was never really, like, as, as somebody who took huge breaks between smoking weed, uh, I can't say that I ever had a time where I hit it and had nothing happen. Did you grow up in Northern California? No, Southern Idaho. Way, way, way worse. <laughs> way worse than Southern Cali or so the Northern California, man. I grew up in Southern Idaho. Ugh. It stings me to say out loud. <laughs> Fucking South Central Idaho. <clears throat> is it only Wednesday, 64-bit robot? Jesus Christ, it feels like it's been six weeks this week. Rusty Brazen Fire, what's going on, man? <clears throat> Exciting news, my board game prototype shipped yesterday a week earlier than expected. That's awesome. <clears throat> That's exceptional news. All right, we're gonna get on out of here. Oh, come here. I don't even care that it's coffee. I just care that it's warm. Ugh. I'm gonna be excited to hand off the narrating res responsibilities to Aloy in the not so distant future. <clears throat> I feel like I get hit a lot in this game just based on the pure and simple fact that I don't always know exactly what the attack patterns are for the new enemies despite having logged several months in the game. Oh god, I have a Lyle. Just for the fact that it gives us piercing makes it feel so good. I wish that red chest, oh, sorry, I wish those red chests had had, had had anything, literally anything useful in them. God, we got a ton of bombs. Idaho's in the news for being insanely Republican and death culty. The governor had to make uh, take a stance against all COVID measures to stand a chance for re-election. Yeah, my mom is a lifelong Republican conservative. 
Uh, but but even e even even she is a at a loss for words at what she's seeing in Idaho right now. Like she 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 also is like the kind of person that if she were to get COVID would probably not survive it. So in in a uh, in the interest of self-preservation, uh, you know, she's been taking it very seriously. And she's been absolutely gobsmacked by what she's seen in, in the state she calls... I say the state she calls home. It's the state my dad moved her to. She's a native Texan, not that things are going much better there. I guess between the two places she's ever called home, she's she's seeing some pretty, some pretty mind-bending... Uh, like sort of willful, willful idiocy, you know. <clears throat> yeah, which Binding of Isaac characters are you dressing up for as Halloween? Uh, well, that hurt me. I thought I could get away from it. Uh, I sure couldn't. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Once upon a time, like once upon a time, I genuinely thought that maybe I would enjoy uh, like getting a Binding of Isaac tattoo or something like that. Because this, this game did sincerely change my life. Um, I own a, I own a house because of this game. It's gonna be Gideon. I need I need to find a tinted rock or something. Um. Yeah, this this, this house genuinely changed my life. Or sorry, this game. Well, this house did. This game genuinely changed my life. And that's awesome. But like, I don't know, man. I used to think that I'd do something like a, I, like I won't even do a Halloween costume anymore, but I used to think that I would do something like a, like a Binding of Isaac tattoo or something. I just want to see if these guys will drop a, just want to see if these guys will drop a tinted, or a spirit heart. But, <clears throat> the bad taste that's been put in my mouth. You know, ever since Repentance dropped and obviously is not a, a finished game. And, and... <clears throat> the sort of, like, disdain that Edmund has shown for his fans in certain regards. Where it's like... You know, pu pu pushing his Kickstarter for Four Souls. And telling people he, he needs to see, like, a hundred new Isaac tattoos. Or he won't release the next thing that they can pay for. And so people are like, yo, I got an Isaac tattoo. I showed it to you on Twitter a year ago and you never said anything. But now's, now's my chance. Did you like my Isaac tattoo? I got I got art that you created permanently pressed into my skin. And he's like, nah, man. New Isaac tattoos only. <laughs> and it was kind of like at that point where I was just like, hey, you know what? I appreciate the game. But don't expect me to get, like, tattoos. Uh, or do anything uh, beyond that, my guy. Can consider our debt paid that I have, I have aggressively pimped your game to a population of people for seven years now. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I like your game, but I'm not joining the cult, my dude. Justin, what's going on, dude? How much for Isaac on the ass? Uh, I mean, bad rats. I tell you what, I tell you what, Glitch, you, you fund bad rats for $7 million, and I'll throw in the Isaac task, the Isaac ass tattoo for free. <clears throat> what about tattooing your manlyhood into a brimstone laser? It'd be more like the, if we were, if we're tattooing it onto my manhood, it's going to be more like the, uh, the sneezy laser, not like the brimstone laser. We're talking more like the Azazel laser than we're talking about, like, something that would reach across the screen. New tattoos in a pandemic. Kicking his fans, on the other hand, asking them for money. Yeah, let's, you know, that's that, that's kind of my take, is that, like, I, I just, I feel like, I feel like, you know, we met him, he hung out here, it was cool. 
Uh, but then after that, just kind of generally how he's how he carried himself, I I thought was optically poor. I thought it was. I thought, yeah. I thought it. Uh, it did not leave a good taste in my mouth. So the idea that I would potentially do any, like anything else, to help this millionaire become more of a millionaire. Where are those bombs coming from? Those little ones. I actually kind of hope it's Krampus. I can't really do much of anything else. Oh well, you know what? <clears throat> Multi-dimensional baby, I think the world of you, but you're not coming with us. This is not the floor. Okay, this is not the floor. Okay, I just have to get the knife piece. Yeah, fund my retirement and you get the tattoo for free. Put me in the American financial 1%. <laughs> Put me in the, Amer the American financial 1%. And then, listen, if I learned anything from Edmund, is that you guys are getting a hell of a deal there. If I, w if I was Edmund, you would give me $7 million, and then I would force you to get a tattoo of Isaac on your ass. I'm saying, if you give me $7 million, then I'll get the tattoo, which makes me low-key benevolent, I think. I think that makes me, I think that makes me, uh, I, I think I'm doing it wrong. I don't want to stir the pot, but yeah, that guy sucks. I like I'd never met him before. I, m most most game devs that I've met to a certain extent are, are like low key narcissistic, uh, to a to some degree or another. I've met a lot of like I've met a lot of game devs, and like a lot of it is kind of like streamers. Like streamers have to be kind of low grade narcissistic to think not only should people watch us play video games, but you should pay us for the privilege of watching us play video games. So I, I, I get it. To a certain degree, like your CEOs and your the people who are helming companies and the people who are uh, creative visionaries, they kind of have to have that kind of like unshakable faith in their vision. They kind of have to have that, that sort of unshakable faith in their vision. Because people who, who who like waffle, people who like him and haw and waffle and, and build stuff by focus groups, they can go work at fucking Bioware or EA. They can go build broken shit that nobody wants to play. And then just stuff it with my, microtransactions and pray that it makes a, turns a profit. <clears throat> but if you're, if you're gonna helm a company that is based off turning a profit almost solely on on the intensity and singular focus of your artistic vision you got to be a little you got to be a little full of this person I, I would want that in 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 my creative director of a of a of a game dev company um but that said man i feel i feel like edmund takes it to another level God damn, that's the missing key to my puzzle. I need to be a narcissist. Yeah, I was gonna say, Justin, you you bucked the trend. I don't know how you do it. You go you go live and then you like apologize to people that you're live. And I feel I feel like maybe it's like it's low key genius because it's just count it's counterculture. You go live, you're like, hey everybody, sorry, I'm here again. I guess I'm gonna be taking up your afternoon. My bad. <laughs> and then people are like, oh no, this poor boy. I need to let him know it's okay. Oh, you idiot, Ryan. <clears throat> there we go. Hello? What's this? Yo, Ice! Thank you for five gifted. Fire Ant, Sign STV, Armo, uh, uh, Armo, uh, a Ram, who is actually somebody with Minecraft and I need to get in touch with them and let them know that I, I'm driving with Justin to this and not flying. Um, not Riley and Boomps, recipients of five gifted from Ice. Ice, thank you so much. Lost my gift sub badge so you get more gifties. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. 
as someone who studied game programmer, uh, the chance of hitting it big is like becoming a rock star. Makes most people who succeed act like rock stars. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, honestly. I, I didn't have... I'd like to think that I'm still pretty humble. I mean, for crying out loud, you, you know, the, the moment the moment that I got ill, uh, I'm, I'm trying to stream with more ferocity than when I'm than when I'm well, because I just don't want to I don't want to lose a finger hold on what I have. You know, I, I, I still have a hunger. That's pretty good. I still have a hunger for what I do, and I still have a, a, a desire to prove that I deserve it time and time again. But I will say that, like, I will say that, like, a, as it truly started to dawn on me, comparatively, how, how well we're doing here, uh, I've had... I've had like some some inside baseball conversations with some other streamers. And I just don't feel like I'm I'm. It's not it's not my place to share any of this. But we we a ha like me and a handful of other people either in Discord or in person have like laid our cards out on the table because the, you know there's that whole like oh you don't talk about how much money you make. I say bullshit. I say you talk about how much money you make. That way people know if they're doing well, if they're not doing well. If they're getting screwed over by a certain company or a different, like a sponsor or a streaming platform or whatever, behind closed doors, man, we compare notes. <clears throat> um, and w once I realized that kind of collectively how well this community treats me and how well we're doing, I do get a little bit of an attitude when somebody, like, when, when some. N n nobody entitled viewer comes in here and talks shit and they're just like oh who why who the fuck is this guy and i'm like excuse me you suck at isaac go away and i'm like that's like the only time that i'll pop my fucking suspenders and be like oh let's have a chat lad i got mad at people during dark souls and had to apologize for 20 minutes Oh shit, Hypercamera, welcome back. I'm mostly here because you're the type of person who puts a sponsored by raid plaque on your fence and I support that kind of energy. I, like, I, I tell you what, man, I, I've learned the more I've spoken to people, like, I'm, co I'm connected to several different circles of streamers and Justin's connected to several different circles of streamers and like, you know, like, Noah's connected to several different circles of streamers, and I'm learning that everybody comes at this a little bit differently. I'm learning that everybody comes at this a little bit differently. Uh, and what's funny is that I, I really genuinely used to believe that the only way I would be able to succeed would be to, to straight up copycat or rip off somebody who was doing it well. And the irony now is that, like, over the course of years, whether it was just sort of through, like, mental fatigue or, or wearing down or, or getting more comfortable in my own skin, I've started just doing it the way that feels most natural to me. And the, the irony is, is, like, Justin and I have had conversations about, like, there are a bunch of streamers out there who would feel uncomfortable with the way that I conduct myself. Uh, and there are other people who have tried to replicate what we do here, and it's not... It's not gone ideally. <laughs> but yeah, I got absolutely no problem uh, trying my best to get paid for what I do. And some, some, uh, some people are real turned off by that, you know. But I 100% will will get a uh, this fence sponsored in part by Raid Shadow Legend sign. Uh, put up on my put up on my fence. You are absolutely right. I I I let you guys give me money to wear a T-shirt for an entire day of TwitchCon 2019 that had Loco Sip on it, which was uh, which was an emote that I absolutely abhorred.
Man, yeah, like I, I gen generally figure, Justin, that if we have a conversation that, that unless it was like truly personal off the record shit, that I'm okay to muse about it in front of folks. Oh, God damn it, I wasn't looking at the screen. I didn't expect it to spawn a troll bomb. Oh, that's right, I've got x-ray specs. That was pretty stupid. Um, but this was more like uh, conversations that you and I had had with people in the industry. And the last thing I wanted to do was be like, Justin shared this information about people that we both know mutually. And I was like, oh, probably not. <laughs> probably not Probably not wise. <laughs> but suffice to say, Justin and I compare notes and, and it, with, with your nose right up against all this, it's hard to tell. It, like, it's hard to tell where you are in the race when all you're doing is swimming 24 hours a day with your head in the water. But every once in a blue moon, somebody kind of gives you perspective and you're like, hey, you're doing really well. And you're like, oh, no shit. Like, yeah, you're doing really well. I'm like, oh, I had no idea. I've also seen you not only uh, fiercely defend your, uh, defend yourself, but also fiercely defend your community. For example, that one streamer who tried to insult someone here because their sub meant less to him. I, I honestly, <clears throat> I'm in kind of a weird spot where like uh, my viewership numbers haven't really changed for years. And I, I, I genuinely think that would be scary. Oh, horn fells, I got bad news, bud. I genuinely think that would be scary for me. I have to remind myself that I need... I wonder if algae would protect me from that. I don't really need either one of those, I don't think. I've got my knife. I don't really think there's anything left to do here. Let's try it. Please? Oh, you rat bastards. Fine, whatever. Um... I... I from what I can tell... We, we do better. I mean, like, my time in Team Catalyst was filled with, with people saying, like, Jesus, Taffy, how much money did you... Like, people people coming in before our meeting on Tuesdays and sitting in on chat and going, like, how much money did you make today? And I'm like, it was gaudy. It was a gaudy amount of money. And they'd be like, why? Like, what what are you doing? Like, you know, we, we have the same viewership. How do you manage to do that? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why it happens to me and not to other people. I was like, I just have, I have eight shit crazy viewers who just go hardcore uh, every single day, and I'm not sure what I did to earn it. I I'm not sure what I did to earn it, but I'll by God fight to the death to defend it. Um. <clears throat> I understand that there are a lot of people with the exact same viewership numbers as me, which I think is very much a doctor thing. I've never really gone to a chiropractor for things that I think are more chiropractory. So I, I've, I've got a feeling about them like they're snake oily a little bit, but I, I don't like aggressively defend that, that take because ultimately I, I also think I went for the wrong reasons. When you grunt putting on socks. Dude, you know what the thing is that gets me recently? Especially since I've put on this like belly weight during the pandemic. Uh clipping my toenails. Holy shit. I have I have I have stopped short of like having toenails that were so long that they clacked against the ground when I walked, but like not by a lot. And and it's just because like the idea of trying to get my ankle up to my eyes. Holy shit. I, I am genuinely surprised and kind of impressed with myself every time I'm physically capable of cutting my toenails. <clears throat> Ansas, you say? Ansas. Can I do a bit of probably t TMI real fast about cutting toenails, but it's a good thing? Yeah, of course, dude. At my previous weights, uh, I was absolutely not able to, and it feels insane to me that I can now. Yeah, like I, I you, you and I are gonna meet in the middle here. We're gonna high five each other on weights here if I don't get my shit in order. But I definitely, I'm going the wrong direction. And I'm getting to the point now where like getting my ankle, like getting my ankle into my lap. <clears throat> There's a fucking, uh, 
say what you will about the man being a pervert, uh, Louis C.K. made a great point about, uh, made a great, po <clears throat> made a great point about, uh, once you get to a certain weight trying to put on your socks or cut your toenails, it's the equivalent of trying to fold a bowling ball in half. Like, just, just gut gets in the way. I just have so much gut now. <clears throat> Chiropractic is rooted in snake oil, the basic belief that all disease can be related to maladjustment of the spine, even the common cold. It seems most uh, chiropractors ignore that junk and are just spine-focused physical therapists. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a healthy, uh, healthy dose, healthy dose of skepticism about it. But it also, I'm sure, it doesn't help them at all. That the first time that I ever went there, I went there with like a serious lower back injury. Yeah, I've got, I've, uh, I've, I've got no, I've got no real take on it. I've got no take on it. I will, like I said, I will say that I went, I went there for a thing that was pretty obvious after the fact that I needed to go to a doctor and get some physical therapy and some painkillers. And the chiropractor basically said as much too. Uh, this is back when I was like 19, and I, I, I haven't had a reason to go back since. <clears throat> R. Splatter says, good morning, Taffy. How are you feeling today? Um, the too long didn't read version of it is that I feel not great, but a different not great. I feel very bad still, but it's a different very bad. I was, tell I was telling Amber while I was downstairs getting coffee. She asked how I was doing. I actually genuinely don't think either one of those helps us. I was telling Amber, like I went downstairs to get coffee and she asked how everything was going. <clears throat> and I was saying that today it, it's a whole different set of symptoms. Like it's the same illness clearly, but like today I have a screeching headache um, and I'm sweating. I'm like sweating through my clothes today, but that's okay. That's fine. Because it doesn't affect my voice or my clarity of thought, which means I can work. Uh, and I've, I've felt pretty psychologically miserable the last two days because of missing out on the stream. Um, but that that's different from yesterday, which was just like the fatigue of being sick and not getting sleep for two nights in a row really was doing a number on me. And then the day before that, it was, uh, it was like a sore throat. Uh, and sinus pressure. God, that first day of the sinus pressure was terrible. <clears throat> Last time I went for a Cairo, he tried to sell me a $2 red laser keychain you pick up at a gas station for 40 bucks and called it red light therapy. He left me hooked up to the electro stim pads for an hour before giving me a five minute adjustment. Yeah, I just, I don't think it's for me. <clears throat> That sounds like a fever. I can't tell. I, what the fuck? At least it's noisy. You definitely sound more with it today, Duke Kamai. I was so miserable yesterday. <clears throat> I was so miserable yesterday. Um, I, I knocked off here after about 90 minutes of stream. Um, I knocked, knocked off here after about 90 minutes of stream, which frankly, at that rate, you might as well not come on at all. Uh, because I, I just couldn't, I couldn't stream together two sentences. I was so fucking miserable. And, um... immediately left here laid down on my couch and slept for two hours holy cat what's going on man um <clears throat> yeah I left here and slept for uh, left here and slept for two hours 
Went and got my hair cut. Just kind of slouched in the chair. Justin and I were actually at the haircutting place at the exact same time. I'd had my I'd had my appointment. Okay, I'll just wait for a second. I'd had my appointment booked for like six weeks, and I felt like I was, I felt good enough to just go sit in a chair and not move. And then Justin came in right as I was wrapping up because he'd come in to to take a, a cancellation spot. So that was kind of funny. And then I came back home. Amber made dinner, and I just laid face down on the couch all day. I just laid face down on the couch, and then I moved to my bed, watched two episodes of Squid Game, Squid Games, Squid Game on Netflix and then fell asleep with my phone in my hand and then the next thing I knew is it was morning. My throat was killing me this morning but I've been hitting it with hot coffee and and uh... I've been hitting it with hot coffee and uh... decongestants and uh... cold and flu meds all all morning long so it's loosened up over the course of the, uh, over the, course of the morning. <clears throat> You know what I could do? Wait, how do I get... Oh, I can't get over there, though. <clears throat> I can't get across this one. I was gonna say I could just pop the chariot card and touch all of them. This Squid Game just a serialized Korean adaptation of Battle Royale. It feels that way. I, I, I've only ever watched the first couple of minutes of Battle Royale. Uh, as you can imagine, the one time that I sat down to watch Battle Royale, uh, I realized very quickly I was not in the right headspace for it. I realized that I was not in the right headspace for it, and as you can imagine, that that's a, a pretty punishing movie to watch when you're... That's like a... That's like taking acid when you're already in a bad headspace. It's like taking mushrooms when you're already anxious. Um... So obviously, like, I, I've seen the first 30 minutes of Battle Royale, and I, and I very quickly came to the realization that I just wasn't, I wasn't in the right space for it. Um, but based on what I know about Battle Royale and what little, like, what 30 minutes I saw of it, it feels like a serialized Korean version of, of, of Battle Royale for sure. I've been, I, I say I've been enjoying it in, in as much as you can enjoy, you know, uh, a, a, a mini series that's kind of like rooted in how global capitalism will drive people to desperate lengths. <clears throat> I got the feeling you weren't going to be alive for very long yesterday. You were a lump of shit. No disrespect intended. I felt like a lump of shit. I, I, I did not feel good. I thought maybe the adrenaline rush of just being on, in front of the camera would carry me. Uh, is this it? Isaac! Oh, this is mom. Yeah, I guess that's to a certain extent that's it. <clears throat> yeah, I was I was hopeful. I was hopeful that like the the rush of streaming would just carry me or something like that, but yeah, I felt I felt like hot garbage. And then I lost those two Judas runs back to back, and I was like, nah, I can't I can't concentrate on this game well enough to play it. Hey, Aaron, thank you so much, man. The uh, the too long didn't read version is that I, I feel a different kind of bad today, but it's the kind of bad where I can speak. The new floors are very very loud. Uh, the lava is loud. The water is loud. The balls and chain are loud. L loud equals good game. Oh my god, my mom recommended a hot toddy. I should have made a- I might have a hot toddy for lunch. I might see if Amber would be willing to make me a hot toddy. <laughs> my mom recommended that. She's like, you work from home, have a hot toddy. What's a hot toddy? It's, um, uh, honey, lemon juice, whiskey. I haven't made one in years. It's kind of a, a grandpa's cough syrup sort of thing. Oh my god, are you really gonna make me jump to recipe on a fucking mixed drink? Water, whiskey, honey, lemon juice, and a cinnamon stick for garnish if you feel so inclined. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> loud equals funny. All right, Jane Cook. Gonna need you to take a couple of decibels off it there. Anna. Love hot toddies. I think I'm gonna do one today to loosen up my voice a little bit. I will say the saving grace of being sick two days ago was that for lunch we ordered so loud. Was that for uh for lunch we did hot and sour soup and uh Singapore fried noodles. And that shit was dynamite and it saved me. Like it just it salvaged the entire day for me. Yesterday there was no there was no saving yesterday. Yesterday I was so sick and I was so tired. And I just I couldn't string together two thoughts. It's great. It helps soothe the sore throat that whiskey makes you say, fuck, feeling sick. I, I'm going to ask Amber to make me one for lunch. Anna, how the fuck are you? I miss you. I hope you're doing well. I was thinking about you quite a bit recently because um, they announced the Amsterdam TwitchCon makeup date two years later. And it just made me realize how, like, how much I was looking, like, how genuinely disappointed I was uh, when last year fell apart. Yeah, that's I was telling Beal the exact same thing. That if I can find an excuse to take my to take my chunky butt to, to Austria, I, I I was also thinking, <clears throat> like, I think just Justin Justin and Noah and I might try to get a place together. And what I was thinking was I, I genuinely might try to get that houseboat that we couldn't get before. I might try to get that houseboat on the on the canal and then also see if I can't uh, also see if I can't uh, finagle uh, a visit to Austria before I come home. Squint Fox, the, dude, Squint Fox, for the 18 minutes that we were live yesterday, did you see, uh, <laughs> did you see how... <laughs> Did you see how out of the gate the audio did us so dirty yesterday? It, it fixed itself with just a uh, restart of the streaming rig. Holy shit, the audio was so fucked yesterday. Pretzel wasn't playing. The notifications were all choppy and, and pixelated. I'd love to stay on a houseboat. Dude, I'll show, you, I'll show you exactly which one I'm looking at. Noah says he's going to book it this time so that if, if shit goes sideways. Uh, Glitch said, uh, asked me if I was feeling pho for lunch today. Does it travel well? Fuzz strikes me as the kind of thing. <laughs> Fuzz strikes me as the kind of thing that, <clears throat> if it takes a half hour to get to me, would not be all that good. It sound it sounds awesome. I haven't had fun in years, like literal years. Let me see if I still have this on my wish list. I do. Look at this shit. It's not bad if we split it four ways, and there are four there are four actual beds. Four beds and three bathrooms in this thing. It's a fucking houseboat on on the canals in Amsterdam. Here, I just I just dropped it in your Discord. We just don't we just don't know when the uh, when the dates are yet. I will say I got ramen del delivered recently and it's great. Yeah, I get worried that it'll 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 lose its it'll lose its uh that it'll get like uh sad. You know, I just don't want it to get sad. Oh, that's true. They usually keep the broth and the ingredients separate and you add them together personally. If you're brave enough, there's unlimited bathrooms. Well, I don't want to I don't ever want to go use like a Verbo or an Airbnb and then have the owner think that we had a dog in the house. Because I just piss and shit everywhere. I don't know what I was hoping would would come of that room, but yes, it travels well. Yeah, I do. Fuh. Let me let, before I before I super duper commit to anything. Let me make sure that there's any place that would sell me pho. 
felt bad. I promised Amber I'd make dinner. I, I, didn't, I didn't like prom I, I insinuated to Amber a couple of nights ago that I'd take care of dinner for a couple of days while we came up with a good list of uh, more ideas of things we could do for dinner. And yesterday, man, I just I begged her to just like make make tacos, uh, just make the easiest thing that she could possibly make. I don't have any place that'll deliver pho. Not on Grubhub, at least. Do I have any place that would do ramen? <laughs> you can get a top ramen bowl from 7-Eleven. I could get ramen in a little bit, but... Actually, I couldn't get ramen for a while. There's bound to be... There's bound to be something... <clears throat> The good boba tea place does ramen. Yeah, it's still. T I mean, like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at Grubhub, and telling it like, don't, don't just show me stuff that's open right now. Show me stuff that'll be open later. And there's, there are plenty of places to get fun in Richmond, but there's no, no place that'll deliver to us. DoorDash, I'll give it, I'll give it a look. See, let me. I, I think we're very close to wrapping this run up. Let me wrap this run up so I'm not uh, gobbling up run, run time, looking at. Uh, Chrome. Yeah, Justin, man. I, I hope. Uh, I hope it, it's all relatively stress stress free. I hope, I hope you just fall right back into the right back into the rhythm of, rhythm of it. I hope it's a good day. <clears throat> hey, man. Those are bits. Noah says, hope you're feeling better, amigo, and if not, then uh, don't die because I'd be sad. We wouldn't bury you with your stuff. No, I wouldn't expect Yeah, you guys fight over my... Well, I say fight over my stuff. Theoretically, in the not-so-distant future, I'm going to have a, a will. If my, if my lawyer delivers, then I'll have a will that should keep people from fighting over my stuff. I'll have a, a, a signed will. <laughs> uh, no, hold on one second. Let me let me finish the. Oh shit! What is that gonna be? Speed? Yeah, speed's good. Speed. I still have you physically given me the will. Damn it! I tried to pop the chariot card and it wouldn't let me. Suck ass at dodging those knife throws. Why you gotta be so. What's the word? Squatty about this, lady. <clears throat> I didn't even see what hit me, if I'm being honest. This is kind of actually the best best case scenario, I think, is her, her just going into this 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 little loop. I didn't work. There we go. We got a win. Where did you digitally deliver it to me? Where do I have this thing? I can go get it signed without your help. I'm a big boy. I, I know how notaries work. <laughs> 